Oh, hey guys, how's it going? Hey, it's another day here in paradise. So last night I did some more cleaning. I cleaned out that table back there, the top drawer, and look what I found. Great big old friggin' wad of money. What kind of money? Canadian tire money, yeah. So I was like, oh man, there's gotta be like 50 bucks there. So I went and counted it out last night to see how much there actually is, and it turns out there's $24.05. So I was way off of my guesstimation, but that's okay. That's $24.05 I didn't have before. And turns out, whenever this stupid lockdown is finally released, which probably won't be for a long time after you hear what's going on in the US, I'll be able to go to Canadian Tire, take that money, and put turn it into e-money so I can use it online and stuff. So that's pretty sweet. So I'm trying to figure out what the hell I'm gonna do tonight. And I think I have an idea. Guys, tonight we might start working on some beef jerky. But right now, I'm gonna put my new basket to work, clear out my dryer, and put all my clean clothes in my new basket. That, that's the reason why I wanted a basket, is to be able to do this. Carry all my clean clothes upstairs. I'll fold them upstairs and put them away. But I just wanted a way to carry everything up. Because normally what I would do is just ball it all up in my arms. <laughs> Walk it upstairs, throw it on my office chair, and then sort through it, hang up some some dresser some all that fun stuff but now I can just fire everything into the basket carry the basket up easily no fuss no muss life is great I'm meaning to buy a laundry basket for the longest time since like I kicked the X out in 2013 because then I had a laundry basket she ended up taking it with her when she left I just never got around to buying another one I had a hamper but hampers suck for doing what I want to do okay I gotta put you guys down so yeah after talking to a few people that I know who have hair who have dehydrators basically gave me a couple ideas for recipes for jerky. The only downside I see to their recipes is brown sugar. The reason why I'm calling brown sugar a downside is because I want to try and keep the jerky somewhat keto and sugar would definitely not do that. Sugar would add unneeded calories. My one buddy though, he was like, if you do it in Coca-Cola, like you can use Coke Zero, it doesn't matter. The Coca-Cola would be the way to go because what will happen is it'll break down the fat and leave the fat in the sauce so when you clear it out and you tap it off you end up with just the leanest meat without the coke or yeah without the coke and then without the fat so that's kind of cool I already got my chicken in the air fryer broccoli in the microwave gonna have that for lunch <laughs> should be pretty good how much time do I have left before I gotta sign back into the fun zone? Still got six minutes. Okay, I'm gonna put my clothes away, and uh, tonight, like I say, we're probably gonna do some jerky. Well, prep for it. This is gonna be one of those videos that takes me a while to make, because it's gonna take me a while to make it, because you gotta let the jerky marinate for, I think they said two days? Well, one guy said two days, one guy said 24 hours. Seeing some of them like, let it marinate for four hours, but we really want the sauce to get into her. So we let it marinate from today till Thursday. Thursday, we'll take it out, throw it in the uh, dehydrator, blast it see what we do so fun all right guys it's like seven ish or 6 40 whatever it's uh late o'clock i'm gonna head off to the grocery store now go scoop up a roast they have them on sale food basics so that's where we're gonna head and we're gonna buy some i think it's called tan marie i don't know it's a soya sauce that's keto safe so i already put in my workout that's good went from 5 to 6 30 now we need to go pick up stuff I also need to pick up some form of nut, and that's for another video that uh, I don't know if you'll see it before or after this one. I'm currently filming two videos today, guys. They're both probably gonna take a while to get results from, so also fun. Filming two videos, and none of them are going up today. Awesome. All right, well, let's pitter patter, have at her. Head over to Food Basics and uh, get some shit. You know what blows my mind? We got cars that can drive themselves, play MP3s, park themselves, freaking backup cam sensors everywhere, yet they still can't make wipers that don't do this. Yeah, just got out of Food Basics. You can only see the food, but uh, we got it right here. All the stuff we're gonna need and more. All right, back home. So, unfortunately, they're out of blade roasts at Food Basics. Go figure. However, they had one that was on sale because it's set to expire any day now. Good enough, good stuff. I'll make sure that uh, I don't give away this beef jerky. I'll make sure to eat it all myself so that way there nobody else gets sick from it. I'm a little bit stronger when it comes to eating partially perished foods versus most people, so it won't affect me as much as it will affect others. Anyway, the next step of the process. So it's kind of a big roast. Yeah, he kind of wants it. He's not getting it though. Yeah, 40% off because uh, it's pretty much set to expire. So it was really 20 bucks. 40% is like 12 or something. So eight bucks off or, yeah, my math is good. So they say to freeze it for a couple hours just so it's easier to slice and you gotta knock all this fat off of it because you don't want fat in your jerky. I don't know if I should remove the fat now. You know what, that's what I'm gonna do. Alrighty, I trimmed as much of the fat off of it as I possibly could. Next step is they say to freeze it to cut it just because then you can cut it easier. But I'm just gonna cut it into strips 
and then uh, go from there. All right, got it all chopped up. Now I just need a bowl, put it all in, and then to add my sauces. Actually, I'm gonna make the sauces and then add it to the bowl. So this is one of the things they said for a keto-based used tamari sauce. It's got one gram of carb, two grams of protein, no fat. I don't understand why this is classified as low carb, but it is, so every 15 mil. However, we don't know how much the meat's gonna absorb, so whatever, keep boring. Also calls for some apple cider vinegar or some coconut ammonia. Don't know what coconut ammonia is, but I have this, so good enough, good stuff. I also added some fish sauce and some of my spice to it. Gonna blend it up and then throw the meat in there. Forgot that it calls for a, tea, a tablespoon of sugar, so I just put a, three of these packets in. Alrighty, let's throw that in the fridge for a couple days and then we'll uh, dehydrate it. Sweet. All right, guys. So it's been about a day since I've been marinating the uh, shit in the fridge. And after reading that recipe, apparently because you use apple cider vinegar, you're not supposed to marinate it that long because it really breaks down the meat fibers or some nonsense. So we'll have to take a look and see how that's turning out. However, what we're gonna do now, let's unbox the Hamilton Beach food dehydrator. No better stable, no, no better stable, no better table than my stove. Go ahead and cut some tape. Holy crap, they put enough tape on this thing. Excuse me, Oreos. Thank God we're in the kitchen and we have 72 knives here. All right, so what have we got in this thing? What's in the bags? What's in the bags? All right. Uh, apparently this bag is not a toy. That's what the bag says. What's this? This is the how to dehyde read before use. Does anybody ever do that? Does anybody ever do that? Read before use? Or do they just, just dive in and say, freaking give her a go? All right, so, you know what? Move this manual over there. Grab the bags to the side. And flip it on its lid. And lift it. Realize I don't have enough clearance. Swear for an hour. Again, almost use another set of hands. Or just drop everything on the ground. That works too. Box is clear. Chances are I'll probably catch a cat. This would be the lid. Put that over here, because I'm gradually going to need that. Might as well get our cardboard organized, because I think tomorrow's recycle pickup, so fire all that out there for that guy. All right, let's go ahead and take the plastic wrap off. You know what? Freak this place. Because the bag says on it that it's not a toy, I guess I can go ahead and wreck it. Not a toy, Oreo. Not a toy. Not for dogs or children. Oh, this thing's light. Sorry, my big head's in the way. I got this thing backwards, because I do that. Now I got it frontwards. I got different things on here. So these are the drying trays. I know one of these, like this one here, you can make fruit roll-ups on it. Don't know what the heck this one here is for. I guess, uh, depending on which tray you put on top, you make sure to keep... I gotta have to read the instructions on this, but that's pretty sweet. Let me give you a little tour. So I have no idea what the hell this thing does. So from the top down, you can see you got a nice little tray. You can actually see it kind of cascades down. If I go on an angle here, you can, you can get a good straight shot down. But if I go straight down, you can see it kind of cascades. Isn't that a neat optical illusion? Ooh, so much pleasure, so much fun on the eyeballs. If we take all the trays right off, underneath here's your element, I guess. Whatever does the removal of the hydration factors. On the face here, we have some controls. Time and temp. So they want four hours on these uh, these meats. It's currently seven o'clock at night, which means four hours added to seven means 11 p.m. That's doable. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna set this thing up on top of the freezer over here, and then we're gonna bring the meat over. We're gonna slab it on and dehydrate it. Okay, so it's a good thing I read the uh, instructions because you don't just drill the meat in this dehydrator and then go there. Uh, you basically need to pre-treat the meat. That's a lot of eat. So yeah, I'll show you that process right now. So I plug this thing in here. What the heck is this doing? Plug this thing in here, it's flashing four hours. You can set the time, so I'm gonna go for 160 degrees Fahrenheit for four hours. However, before you do anything, what you need to do is you need to remove the meat from the marinade, then you need to bake it for 10 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit to preheat it so that it doesn't kill you and make you die to death. So, good to know. I don't know if this is true or not. I've never watched videos of people making beef jerky before. I know my buddy just does it in the oven. He sets his oven to like a low number, like 100 and 200 Fahrenheit, turns it on, opens the the, uh, the door a little bit to let it vent, to let it vent all the moisture. And within like a couple hours, he's got himself some jerky. So what we'll do is we got our meat here. I'll show you that now. She's been soaking in that marinade all night. Doesn't that look scrum dilly -umptious? Yup. So we'll just take it, we can get it out of here, and we'll lay it on a pan, we'll bake it, and then dehydrate it. And then, no and then.
All right, let her rip tater chip. We'll check on it every half an hour and make sure we don't burn the house down. Got two extra trays here. So before anybody says anything, yes, I know, I know. Adam, you cut the beef too thick. She is kind of thick. I know, don't have to tell me. I friggin' know. What am I gonna do with these extra trays here? I'll put them where the actual thing's gonna go. Hey, there we go. Now we're thinking with our brain. Also on a side note, yes, I did wash the trays while it was baking. I cleaned all the trays out and cleaned all the, um, Basically washed it down because, you, you know, it's coming from a... It still has a smell to it, though. Like, there was nothing I was supposed to take off of this, right? There's no stickers or anything. Well, it doesn't sound like a struggle busting, so we'll let it go for the four hours at 160. And every half an hour, I'll come downstairs and give her a quick monitor and see what's going on. I got some dishes to do right now, though, so talk to you guys in a bit. Guys, it smells so damn good in the house right now. Huh, I thought that my cow there was tilted. I'm losing my mind. Anyway, Jesus, I almost... I almost didn't see scampers there. I swear she has a death wish some days. Just lays down in the weirdest of spots. Any hoozle. Packed up the shanty while I was waiting for this thing to finish. There's 23 minutes left. Oh, okay. I've been checking on it and like, oh, that's done. That is beautifully done. Wow, that is awesome. Like I said, thick cut. Do you know what? We're gonna go ahead and turn it off. But yeah, we're just gonna let it sit here, cool down to room temperature, and then, we're gonna go ahead and bag it. And then we're gonna put it in the fridge. Well, we're gonna try a piece first. And then we're gonna put it in the fridge. Alrighty, so we'll let this sit here like this. I've already had a piece, guys. Oh man, oh man. There was like a little niblet that was right there and I decided to ingest it. They say when you let it cool down, it'll get a little bit tougher. Not tougher, but like jerky-ish. And then, uh, yeah. Gonna take all that and fire it in a friggin' Ziploc bag and that's coming ice fishing with me. That's gonna be a delicious friggin' feast. Dangling for fishies while eating jerky. Like, that's not the best idea on the world. All right guys, well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and bag all the beef jerky, fire it in the fridge, and let it faster because I started this project a little bit late. And that's what I heard was the cat. It's taking a shit. And I overheard boom. And I was like, what the hell was that? It was the freaking cat. I didn't know what the heck was going on. I thought something came through the freaking roof. Like, pushed the attic door down because it's not exactly awesome. Anyway, let's bag some of this. I got a Ziploc bag here. Don't think I'm gonna fit it all in one. Might need to. And there we go, guys. Big ass friggin' bag full of beef jerky. Let's go see how much it weighs real quick if my scale actually has any battery life left in it. I gotta buy new batteries for that thing. Actually, what I'd like to do is get a new scale. Where is that scale? There it is. I'd like to get a new scale that runs on traditional batteries like double A's. Okay, so I have no way to weigh this because my scale will not turn on. Yeah, it's dead. Anyway, feels like a good maybe pound, pound and a half. But the real question you're asking is, Adam, how does it taste? And I know you're asking this question because uh, the answer is pretty damn good. All right, guys, so I got the bag here. I'm gonna go ahead and take a piece out. I don't want a big piece because I do want to save this for ice fishing. Do I have any small pieces in here? God, it just smells so, so good. And like, there we go. Here's a nice small piece. So, and that lens is dirty. But, uh, sweetness. See, it spreads apart and it looks just like the real stuff from like Jack Lanks. Oh, that's so good. As far as flavor goes, definitely, definitely unique, but in a good way. Mmm. I'll give Oreo a piece. Go ahead and try some beef jerky. Mmm. All in all, I will be doing this again. For sure. Anyway, people, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, click that like button. If you have any any, any at all 
tips on making beef jerky at home using a dehydrator. If you have any recipe ideas and you want to throw them down below the comment section, that is where you do that. Leave me a recipe for a marinade, we'll give her a go. If you have an idea for another meat to use that you've done, I've heard you can use ground beef. You can basically put it in one of those things like I have there for, for icing cakes. You can put in one of those, you can just make strips on your, your trays and then away you go. So anyway people, on that note, I need to get to bed so I gotta shut this down, get it edited up and all that fun stuff. So thanks for watching, like, favorite, comment, don't forget to subscribe and until next time guys, remember, live to win, never give in. Sit, stupid, sit. Good dog.